What's up guys, Twitchy here and welcome to part 21 in the Arc Server Manager series. Today we're going to go over excluding items from beacons, supply drops, stuff like that. Uh, this section is actually called Exclude Item IDs from Supply Crate Overrides. It's a mouthful. Uh, basically what it means is, is if you have an existing set in your supply crates, you can actually exclude items as long as they have an item ID from being put in those crates. And that's pretty much it. If you guys don't need this video, feel free to skip forward and back in the tutorials. Hopefully you find something you need. But if you do need this video, hang on tight because we're getting into it. Alright guys, we're going to set this up and then we're going to do a test run on the test server. But for right now, um, this section, exclude item IDs from supply crate overrides, is pretty simple and slightly aggravating. I know that doesn't make much sense, but it will. Uh, so for just a refresher course here, we're going to go to here. I'm going to be editing the blue level 25 beacon. Now you can see the list of items here. There's a, a lot, but not like a ton. And in comparison to some of the other ones, you can see it's a little bit smaller. Now any of these items that you want to look up what their item ID is, you can go to another site right here. And of course, you can go down into here and look up these item IDs. So what's one of the things we got on this list is a compass, I believe. Um, what would that, would that be a tool? Compass 136. Okay, so this item ID is 136. That's what we're going to exclude from the listing. Now here's the problem. Not everything has an item ID like that. Okay, so if we come down into saddles, and we look at saddles here real quick as soon as my, my eyeballs will let me see them. Sorry, it's been a long day. You can see that a lot of these don't have item IDs. I've tried adding them in without the item IDs, and unfortunately, it doesn't like it. In the case of this beacon itself, here's the issue. None of these saddles have an item ID that I could find, right? So the terror saddle, the doty saddle, like I couldn't find them at all. So we can't add those in, all right? But we can add the rest of it in. And I'm going to add everything but Gilly and the Saddles into this excludes so that we can see what it does. Now I do have a little bit of a cheater list here, but we're going to do one manually. Let me hover over this. Was it 136, I think? So we're going to go ahead and add 136. If we click over here, you guys can see what that actually adds in. All right, and that's what it adds in. Now I have a file. I went ahead and prepared ahead of time. I'm just going to copy this bad boy, right? Copy. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. And I'm going to exit this. And we're just going to add it in this way. Paste. You can see that. We're going to process that. They are all there. All right. So right now, the only things you should be able to spawn into that blue level 25 crate is Gilly and a few saddles. All right, we're going to go, we're going to spawn some of those bad boys up on the island so you can see what it's doing, and we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we're back on Herbivore Island. I went ahead and called down a few blue crates. Let's go look and see what we got inside of them here. Gilly. We're just going to go ahead and take all. Okay, so what did we get? What did we get? Uh, we got, what, a piece of ghillie, looks like a blueprint for ghillie, a blueprint for a saddle of some sort, what saddle is that, Iguanodon, we got a blueprint for a manta saddle, we got a lance because we don't know what the ID for that is, so we weren't able to exclude it, and the ghillie pants, alright, so, like I said, this is a very small sample size, so there's very few things left in the, in the actual beacons for them to spawn. If you were going to go any, like, if you were going to go this deep into it and exclude this many things, then you'd want to probably do the overrides more than you'd want to do the excludes. That's just kind of where it's at. Um, let's see. I think that's about it. I hope you guys found it at least somewhat informative and helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section down below. I will try to remember to leave the links to the item IDs page for you guys and the breakdown of the beacons um, and kind of go from there. But that's it for me today. I hope to see you guys on the next one.